Hello everybody, welcome to the official live cast of the Group A Round 3 crucial match between Blue Max, well Blue 6 Max and his Necromantic up against Le Peg and his Undead. Um, these teams are both very similar in colour and they've got both got zombies so with that in mind I think we're going to go red and blue. So there you go, blue for Blue Max, perfect. Red for Le Peg. I can show you the groups and um, these are up to date after Yatsik has played Kfog. So you can see that if Blue Max wins or if it's a draw, then neither of them will qualify. However, it's very interesting if Le Peg wins. If he wins 1 0, he'll have to have a playoff with Yatsik to see who finishes second. If he wins 2 1, he'll have to have a playoff with Kfog to see who wins and who's second. And if he wins 2 0, he'll just outright win the group. So anything can happen in this match. Super duper interesting, and I can tell you that Le Peg is unsurprisingly French. Qualified from PlayStation through the KGVM World Championship Qualifier. And Blue 6 Max is from the United States of America, also PlayStation, and qualified through the MML World Championship Qualifiers. So there you go. A PlayStation mirror. Very exciting. Um, if he wins 2-1, yes, then he has to have a playoff with KFOG. He'll be level with KFOG, so they'll have to have a playoff to see who wins the group in that case. And he could win, like, you know, 3. If he wins 3-0, 3-1, 3-2, then he right wins the group. Um, so, I mean, that's a lot of touchdowns, though. Yeah, Necro without Gar, this is a very strange build. Very strange build. Not a fan of the build, I have to say. He's gone lots of block. He's gone tackle on the whites, uh, on the wraiths, sorry, tackle on the wraiths rather than guard. Block on the fleshies, like, I think is fine. But I mean, I think guard is better. And obviously, block on the walls and block on the goo is completely reasonable. But yeah, I would definitely say guard. Guard at least on the wraiths, right? And then. Probably at least one guard on the fleshies as well. Um, the peg's got three guard there, all on the LOS. And then a tackler and a blocker and a wrestler. So, you know, pretty pretty standard from the peg. But yeah, bizarre, bizarre team that uh, I'm not a fan of at all from Blue Max. Yeah. It's nice how blue it is. It's good. This would be this would be really hard to tell these apart, wouldn't it? Like uh, this is this is pretty much clashing here. So blue and red is very easy to tell apart. But yeah, it's interesting the uh, the fleshies. I actually don't hate like one block and one guard fleshy. Like, I, I would take two guarders, but I can understand. I can even understand going block instead of guard. But I, I, I hate not having guard fleshies. Uh, guard wraiths. I think the, the only skill for the wraiths. Oh my goodness. Le Peg needing a win to, to qualify. Okay, the regen worked. Has chosen a kick and instantly got a mummy removed. Unbelievable, Jeff. Unbelievable. And that's why you don't ever kick. <laughs> oh god, there's a stun. But no, I mean, I, I understand kicking in this situation, right? To try and know what you've got to do on your offense, whether you've got to score early or not. It does make sense in a game where you have to win, but your opponent doesn't. Because uh, Blue Max is unfortunately already eliminated, so. You know, he's just playing for honour at this moment in time. Oh, 
So you know if 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 Le Peg received stalled out the half for one nil, um, then Blue Max wouldn't have to score early, right? Blue Max could just stall out his half and make it a one-one draw. So Le Peg wanted a kick. See if he stops the score or not. If he doesn't stop the score, then at least he knows he's got to score quickly in the second half to push for the win. So it's completely reasonable to kick. But what a way to start it, getting a mummy cast. I mean, there was a strong argument for not putting mummies on the LOS, to be fair. There's choosing to kick, and then there's choosing to kick with mummies on the LOS. I would have definitely chosen to kick with not mummies on the LOS, personally. They could have even been hit by, by wolves, right? I mean, harder without guard. I understand why he was tempted to do it without, um, without Blue Max having any guard, but what a brutal start. Yep. No, no, Christopher B. Um, Blue Max is definitely eliminated. Um, he's lost his first two games. Well, no, I think he drew, but I, I, I can tell you. I think he lost his first two games. Let's have a cheeky look. Yeah, he lost his first two. So most he can do is three, and K Fog and Yatsuk are both on five. So it's only playing for the peg. Yes, the, the, the wraiths have to be guard. The raids have to be guard. The, in my opinion, they just have to be. The flesh golems being bl block, both block. I don't like, but I think it's kind of fine. And one block and one guard is also kind of fine. But there could be triple coated with five points. Yes, yes, exactly. Because they could all draw with each other and all beat Blue Max. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then it's going to come down to good chance of there being a playoff match in that, in that case but less chance now right much more chance of Blue Max getting a draw of this game no there can't be triple tie breaks no no there can't be triple tie breaks I mean that removal okay he's he's regen but still losing a mummy is absolutely brutal for the undead so it's hard to bet against blue max getting the draw now right like he's very favored a draw win now with such a huge removal <laughs> if he does it again <laughs> oh my god no he doesn't he could foul uh, he could foul this white though couldn't he <laughs> yeah, it was genius. <laughs> it was genius. Well, he's going to have a based cage here. Obviously, he can have two so that it's not fully based, but. Roll six and bang them out. Yeah. I mean, it's the best way to not just beat undead, but literally every single team in Blood Bowl, isn't it? Just bang them out and win. This seems very unnecessarily shaky, this formation, but... Yeah, yeah. Works <laughs> works on literally every team. <laughs> Just bang them out and win. You could dodge foul. I mean I really like fouling this actually. Just because you've already I mean either one. Either one. M maybe maybe foul the I mean next turn. 
But I really like, because like, you could have really surrounded this and fouled it. I would have quite liked that. I mean, uh, Olivier Delac just slaughtered somebody, didn't he, without even, uh, you know, just took some sidestep and jump up <laughs> and then proceeded to make about five cars. Nabolo also versus Lizardmen, Kaz 7. <laughs> just casually Kaz like four Saurus. <laughs> Surprisingly won that game. <laughs> yeah. I see what you've done there, Ruff Fulgen. Is he going to rush Mummy Blitz? Looks like it, doesn't it? Or oh, he could hit the wolf, though. Not on the flesh. Oh no, he couldn't. No, he could hit the flesh. He could hit the flesh. He could do. He's got the. Uh, he's got a guard and a cancel assist, but he gets the mummy on the ball. Yeah, exactly, Cosmo Eagle, yeah. Well, he's finally going to get hit with the wolf now, which is nice. These dice, these are the necro dice, aren't they? Got the uh, undead. No, these are the um, necro chilies, aren't they? Necro chilies and undead chilies. Yeah, they've both got race appropriate cheerleaders. Well, of course, halflings are better. Oh my goodness, he's made another Kaz. And he doesn't regen. Guard White is dead for the game. Flip me. Hello, Sandslicer. Um, Le Peg has to win. Um, Blue Max is already eliminated, but Pleg Le Peg has to win this game, and he's just taken <laughs> a Kaz mummy and a Kaz White. But at least he's regen the mummy, so it's not over. But. It was already a two, wasn't it? That was already a two. -er. Four e rolls, Hydra. Gonna one D blitz with a wolf. Gets the knockdown. And then goes over there to assist. And gets the knockdown there. Living a little bit dangerously with the ball protection. And Vargeistless, yeah, yeah, no Vargeist. 
Oh yeah, not two runners, two throws. No, no, two runners, two throws, and a blitz. Right, let's say no bad guys. Four rerolls. Lots of players. That's fair enough, Hydra. That's fair enough. At the end of the day, it's you know you can do what you like, can't you? If you if you wanna have fun. You can go for it. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> the funny enough now, like, with two guard, he actually, with two tackle, he can actually put, like, tackle on the ghouls pretty easily. And tackle really does count with the ghoul very well. This would be a lot better in like tabletop, right? Because you could run into Amazons. But um, I mean, I'd still never do it. I'd always take guard on the wraiths. I think the wraiths have to have guard. I think they have to. And I personally would go guard fleshies. I think that's a lot more up for debate. I think if you struggle more against elves, block fleshies is a fine thing to do. If you suffer more against Bash, Guard Fleshies. And, you know, Guard Fleshies in general probably is a good idea. But. Again, that's just my opinion, man. Gets the POW. The peg gets the pow. Oh, and a removal that redresses the balance a bit. He could have, but he, he's got to roll a six, right? Which is just difficult. prefer just tagging him and then you know it's got to dedicate his blitz to it hasn't it or, or just block but, I mean I would just block on turn four but a lot of people would blitz that uh, like he just has but I would just block it Yep, pretty good. Pretty good is Anki Panky. Was a two and all one, but he survives it. Oh wow, and he just fouls. Fouls a zombie and gets a KO. Flip me. Unfortunately, not sans like it because uh, we get like, I mean, well, last, last year we like didn't get any time there so 
I imagine we won't again. <laughs> so yeah. We just went in, worked, went out. <laughs> Basically. Well, he's in a decent spot, isn't he? KO, he just took lots of players. <laughs> he's only down, <laughs> he's only down one guard because he's removed the guards. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of time though, isn't it? At the end of the day, there's not that many players for the peg, so. Like. Ooh. Like holding off the forward movement to get more banging is completely fine. Though I would be hunting the ghouls rather than fouling zombies. With having the actual, with actually having a tackler, you know, tackling girls is pretty good, isn't it? Turn five, he's got to start moving up the pitch at some point, hasn't he? So we'll see if he chooses this turn or not. Not really. Facing the mummy, whoa, that's a dangerous move. I'm hypnotized by this zombie. Look at this zombie. This one. the other wolf back. Okay, I hate moving the other wolf back for the assist. Like, move a zombie back there so you can punch and then the, the zombie can punch him off next turn and you get your wolf back. But now, he's got both wolves on a zombie. And he's got nothing out in front. And he's got nothing on either side. And all of a sudden he's in a hell of a lot of trouble. Go 
going backwards on turn five. I mean, I mean, it's not good, is it? <laughs> That's all I've got to say about that. I say that he's removed three players for one of his own. He's got a two man advantage. And he's not got a leg to stand on. Oh, wow. He foul appearances. The, the Wraith block. Which was he was going to use to clear the path for a goat to come round so he could dodge off and blitz with tackle, I bet. Whereas now. Looking very difficult. Maybe he should have re-rolled that, right? He's got three re-rolls. Maybe he should have re-rolled that. Maybe not. Le peg. Dimmy doesn't even know what le pegging is. <laughs> Oh, he's got to the one day. Only a push. <laughs> Only a push. <laughs> wow. Full power. Well, I know what I'd do, but um, we shall find out what the peg does. Not the peg, what Blue Max does. The peg is red. Blue Max is blue. We did unfortunately pick pretty pretty similar like these are pretty similar right he's got like a bit of cyan and he's got a bit of cyan they're both black and cyan and they've both got zombies so this is a pretty hard team pretty hard teams to tell apart without red and blue i would say i'd say this is the perfect situation for the red and blue it's the pow And the removal. Uh, not every time, sounds like uh, there's a, you know, I, there's quite a few games where there's been cool colours, but um, certainly. With that. It's certainly easier red and blue, isn't it? It's certainly easier to see things if it's red and blue. Is he gonna move the ball? Wait, what was the random rush? Did you see that? Just a rush came up on the screen. What the hell? Anyone see how weird that was? <laughs> Doesn't assist the Wraith. Quite like the assisting the Wraith and then two dicing it and putting tackle on both of them. But why two dice when you can one dice? I 
And yep, all of a sudden, despite uh, not really getting anywhere for six turns, he's in range as long as he pushes forward. He's got a tackle on two players there. So not great for the peg. Oh, he might re-roll this. Because if he gets the power, he gets two dice on the ball, right? That could have been a re-roll. Yatsik will be loving this, won't he, at the moment? Uh, Looking like Blue Max might get a score on the board, and if he does, makes it that much harder for Lepeg to win. Blue Max has taken four minutes of time bank already, but that's that's not too bad, right? With another half to play. So the peg's still got a bit to dip into if he has to. He's got his Tinken cap on. So he does. I think he's thinking like whether to one dice the Wraith or stand up and two dice him or dodge one or both away. And it's not really easy, is it? Not an easy choice to make. And whether to invest rerolls, you've only got two turns left to defend this and the next one. Whether to dodge away the Blodger that's in base to base with the Fleshy. Oh, he's got, still got a Blitz, well, in that case, easy Blitz. Ooh, he gets a push. So he's obviously going to start sidestep the other one. No, he's not. He's going to try and stop him reinforcing the middle a bit. But he did not Thomas T step it. Still eating into the time bank, but it's there to use. Ah, oh, it brings him back to the safety. He makes this dodge out. But Blue Max can definitely get blitz a hole and get a lot forward here. You can also 1D surf this zombie at the end. Moves the ball. It is in range. I 
feel like it should definitely have been there or like here with the wolf out there rather than instantly one diceable but I guess the peg has lost so much that he can't even he can't even easily one dice it. He's got, he's got nothing left, has he? Absolutely banged out. Wolf Skulls uses his last reroll on an irrelevant turn 7 hit. So now he has no rerolls for turn 8. It's not what I would have done. I can one day with the wrestle go, right? No, Spraggy, no. This is a godless necro team, yes. Talking about it. Yep. Yep. Doesn't get him. But the ghoul will have to rush to score without a reroll. It's funny because I can see the idea of the tackle race, but like, it's got to be guard. <laughs> it's just got to be guard. Guard is like the best. Okay, well, a few rolls to make and no, no re-roll to do it. Gets the instant full power there. Cass. <laughs> I tell you what, Blue Max knows how to play Blood Bowl. Oh well, I say that he did a two dice instead of a three dice, and has no rerolls. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I had two zombies. Just come up here and up here, and then this would have been a three dice block. And he just needed a push and then a rush. And, you know. yeah. <laughs> well, sounds like uh, um, <laughs> I meant he was good at blood ball roll at rolling dice, right? He's definitely good at the rolling dice part of blood ball. Um, yeah, he's good at that portion. He's good at that element of blood ball, definitely. Yeah, he's, he's followed the Space Cadet strat of, of less KO rolls for your opponent. <laughs> Gets the POW. What will happen with KOs? White comes back, Wraith comes back. So, the peg can still get the 1-0 win. Um, but he's he's got to do it without a few players. Without one ghoul, without the guard, White. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten players. 
Okay. Pretty doable. He'll be so thankful his mummy regen. Oh my god, if you had to do this without the mummy. Only nine players. But if he wins 1 0 now, I can uh, show you the table. You can see there that if he wins 1 0, he will be completely level with Jacek on three win. Uh, you know, five points, three touchdowns, four, two against. So they will have to play a playoff match, like a single game. With overtime enabled to see who qualifies with KFOG. Um, so I think the dice make it too risky to try to win 2-0, right? I think he probably just has to try and win 1-0, you know. But, um, and he's only got 10 players, so I think he's probably, he probably should just try to win this game at all, rather than try to go for 2-0 at this stage. Yeah, it was, it was unbelievable from, from Blue Max to use that re-roll on on uh on turn seven was was unbelievable <laughs> and then to not make the flesh goal and block three dice hello mr yemen down hello oh don yep yep it is it is myself, Andy Devo, and Miss Beltry. In Montpellier. Should be glorious. Triple push. Um, sixth, seventh, and eighth of December. That's where it is. The uh, quarterfinals on the Friday, semi-finals on Saturday, third place playoff, and grand final on Sunday. So three days of Blood Bowl extravaganza. Pretty toothless first turn here for the peg. Even more hammering it in that he can't go for 2 0. Yep, Soku, yep, yep. It'll be Yatsik and Le Peg to see who joins KFOG. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, I think it was. Uh... I mean, I don't think anything. <laughs> I don't think anything, but I'd imagine, you know, he could have just had another commitment, right? He do, he he works a lot, so he, he could just have been somewhere else, or they could have uh, not asked him. I don't know. <laughs> I've got no idea what they've done. But he, he, there's a good chance he was busy, right? Because like the week after he w he did that with us, he was like interviewing Max Verstappen in like Dubai and stuff. So he could have just um, he could have had prior commitments, or they could have decided to go with Tree as a blood bully type presenter. Who knows? Well, he did he double one that? Yes, he did. He made a rush. Um, for a reason, and then re-rolled it. 
and failed. Yeah, the peg's just got to go for the one nil, I think. I think you'll be sad they didn't get the two nil. I mean, but after the first couple of turns, there was not a lot you could do, was there? And it, you know, you could still blow this, right? You could have crucial bad dice, um, blue mask. We get some good dice. There's things that can happen still. He's not out of the woods yet. And the fancier shower was great. <laughs> Random removal. Lovely. <laughs> the turn timer is annoying sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> Chicken, rice, le plim plom, le peg. <laughs> Oh, shine it. Yep. Oh, he does do the rush. I thought he might do that rush. I'm not that big a fan of the rush, to be honest, but I thought he might do it. Gets the mummy in front, doesn't it? Gets him engaged. But... Big fan of ice cream. We didn't have any ice cream in in Montpellier. We had some uh, we had some chocolate uh, muffins. We had some chocolate muffins. They were very nice, and uh, just in general, lots and lots of food. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say 1-0 win easy. He very nearly got scored on. <laughs> he very nearly got scored on. But now, I mean, obviously he should win now. Big up Lepeg. Yep, so we'll have to... It's not over yet, it's not over yet. But if he qualifies... If he doesn't go out. if he wins this game one 0 he'll have to schedule a game with Yatsik to see who goes through on Saturday probably. It would be best. Yeah, that's the thing, sounds like. It doesn't really bother Blue Max that much, right? So that's the thing, right? Like, yeah, okay, he should have made that block of three dice. He shouldn't have used his reroll on the wolf hit, but he shouldn't care too much, should he? Like, you know, I'm sure he won't care too much. But yeah, if if that was like Le Peg, 
and like Le Peg had to do that and uh, and like didn't win because of it he'd feel really bad wouldn't he but yeah you know at the end of the day there's nothing on the line for Blue Max so it's not the uh, not the end of the world if he doesn't get it done He's taking his time, isn't he, Lepe? It's fair enough. The stakes are high for him. Oh, huge cars. Huge cars. And it's a little bit tricky, right? Because of the race having tackles. So, you know, you, you know, normally you can whack your ghouls out in relative safely but he's got to look after his ghouls he loves counting squares uh, lots of KGVM people isn't there? That's, that's the league he qualified from from playstation Two PlayStation coaches. Wacky ghouls out. I mean, you can whack your ghouls out, right? Because generally, they're pretty hard to knock down. But in this case, with, uh, with tackle wraiths. I mean, I'm not a fan of this move at the side from Lepeg, especially on turn three, but if that's what he want to do, who can say if it's good or bad? I guess he's just going like, to put the ball there, but I don't, why isn't, I don't know why he hasn't done it yet, and I don't know why he's just made that a 2D. Probably he'd have already just moved the ball over, right? Ball can go to here. Could have moved the ball to there, and he could have made that 3D. Turn ordering is indeed a bit off. Oh, wow, he's rushing. Okay, I hate the rush. I absolutely hate the rush. I guess there is the wolf here, right? But he could still only touch you. It was, you're still safe here. The wolf can't hit you from here. I guess potentially, like this wolf could, you could power the mummy, and like this wolf could have come round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rush, rush. So potentially. But I mean, I've just gone there. And I mean, he hadn't moved this zombie right, so if he was really bothered, the zombie could have come down to make it totally safe. No, no, don't, no, no, I can say anything. Um, I can say anything. I just can't, uh, can't have, you know, like, people on that aren't Tree and Devo. And I decided to stop swearing. I just decided to stop swearing. They didn't tell Jim I can't swear anymore. Honestly, I just thought, seeing as the official cast, I won't swear. And then it was really quite easy, and then I thought, oh. I didn't even think that, I just happened to not swear. I just literally, ha I didn't even think I won't swear, I just happened to not swear. I think I swore once in the whole, in the whole thing. It is indeed Skytruck, yep. That's not true. He's he's gonna base it. Yeah, I would have thought he'd have based it with a fleshy, but I, he could have based it with a fleshy and with the wraith, couldn't he? 
Yeah, that's really weird. Like, you'd want the definitely want the, the fleshy in here and the wraith in there. Really weird. <laughs> I mean, it's not that weird, Ali, really. <laughs> you, you've watched the stream before. <laughs> it's really quite incredible. <laughs> it's really quite incredible. <laughs> I've gone through most of my life swearing continuously. I was actually shocked that I just didn't swear. You know, I would have thought even if I tried really hard not to swear, I'd still end up swearing, but I just didn't try and I just didn't swear. There is an absolute gaping hole, yep. The uh, wraith and the fleshy aren't really covering anything. So... This is a lovely turn four for Le Peg. No need to panic. <laughs> Any proof against the conspiracy is proof of the conspiracy. Indeed. Yes, not playing does indeed help with the not swearing, yes. Funnily enough, I did swear on the unofficial cast of the, you know, with Calcium and uh, Fine the Earth because, uh, you know, Bad things happened, and I swore with the unofficial cast with Fymir and Dimmy because bad things happened. But yeah, when I wasn't playing live, then there's a lot less reason to swear, isn't there? Yeah, I'm a bit surprised it didn't go push down the middle there. I would have definitely tried to push down the middle. Yep, hundred percent, hundred percent. But I guess what he's trying to do is keep the ghouls as protected as possible so they don't get picked off by the wraith. And I'll get tackled. Yep, I really liked three dicing with the mummy there. But you know, why hit with a mummy when you can just remove the wine? Two D into another removal. Two minutes of time bank. I'm making a blockless block into a sidestepper. Doesn't base the cage. Well, it's not even a cage, is it? It's a screen, but you could have sidestepped here and been touching this uh, ghoul. Or you could have gone there and then been, you know, 3D'd, which doesn't seem as good, does it? He could have, he could, but the thing is, if he got 3D'd, he could sidestep to there afterwards and then instantly have a hit on the ball. But I, th I think going there was pretty good. And then you could punch this guy and then punch this guy and then try and hit the ball with a wolf maybe or with this guy. This seems a bit crazy from the peg. Got to do a rush, hasn't he? Yeah. Really had to do the rush to stop just an instant 2D and then it, the wraith coming in. Well, I thought he was going to keep the keep the girls safe, but then he just instantly like really exposed this as well, right? Because you just punch and then you've got the assist for it, nah, unless you don't pal. No, oh, don't they don't. No, I did not go. Oh man, this bug. This bug is obnoxious.
here comes the block tackle blitz does nothing conclusively proving Jimmy correct the tackle is rubbish good I mean, we said there was a gaping hole last turn. <laughs> now there's a red carpet. <laughs> do, do, do here, do here. And one wraith. One wraith holding the entire middle of the pitch. Who can say if that's good or bad? The peg really needed two. Um, the ideal result for the peg was to win 2-0. Um, but honestly, he's lucky to not be 1-0 down right now. Very lucky to not be 1-0 down right now. So he'll take this 1-0 win and be happy if he gets it. I mean, he's not going to try two TD. One TD gets the playoff. So he does not advance with this win. He will. He will. If he wins this game, he has to then beat Yatsik in a playoff. So I can't believe he did the blitz before hitting the wraith. Just quietly, like hit the wraith. See what happens. Right? Is what you have to do. I mean, you don't have to hit the wraith. Like you could just walk, run around the side. And like bring him around and like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like I guess you could just kind of like, but it's so much better just to hit him first and see what happens. And it's 3D into the 2D bits that you did. And there you go, he gets the power. That was, I did not like that blitz first action. Do the 3D, see what happens. Move your cage up completely. And then probably 3D that wolf. He could foul this wraith, couldn't he? The fact that he's uh, he's already got the mummy there, and it's as far as this zombie can reach. It's a possibility. Maybe not though. Yeah, I thought he might just take the flashy. He could still foul it, right? He could still two assist foul it. But yeah, I like tagging the rate the flashy to be honest. Bug. No. But yeah, I mean, Blue Max is a bit screwed now. Only three, six, seven players versus ten. the ghoul down, give it two spaces so the zombie can't tag two for one. Wait, do you mean, do you mean this ghoul? Do you mean Lepeg's ghoul? Yeah. It's better that he tags it two for one. 
I wanted to tag two four and then I can just punch him immediately. Would be my uh, opinion on that. In fact, I wouldn't have him out there at all. I'd have him here. Or here. Oh, wow. Fleshy dodge. Oh, flip me. Okay. Oh, yeah, actually, the other place from is, is like somewhere to stop the fleshy dodge, right? Man, fleshy dodge is pretty strong. Oh, imagine if Lepeg doesn't even win. Pretty tricky, right? You don't really don't want to dodge with this ghoul because he can just one in nine. You can't fill the squares of where the fleshy, the where the wraith sidesteps to. So you just got to hope your power, which you don't. You can't risk the reroll there because the one in nine is an absolute killer. He's got guard though, so he gets another 2D on it with the uh, tackler. Nah, nah, he can, he can punch it with a wraith. The, the white can punch it because the, the mummy's got guard. So he's got a 2D. And he rushes to fill it in. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair rushing there, I guess. See, that's why I liked fouling this guy last turn because they're pretty annoying, right? Tackle, <laughs> tackle wraiths are pretty annoying for ghouls. So I really wouldn't have hated fouling this guy last turn. It's a bit of a problem. can use the fact that there's no guard. I what I would have done oof, he's got to reroll this, he's got four. I would have put the mummy there in case he didn't use stand firm, right? Because <laughs> if he doesn't use stand firm he's got a four plus to two D the ball. Um and then this guy here, so he can't just two D you at the moment. Wolf could maybe run around. And this guy could dodge and hit. Ah, oh, he's got guard though, he's on. So one, two, three. Yeah. So it's, it's not super easy to do, and it's pretty good. Pretty good. Be yeah, able to defi definitely put the mummy there. Because I quite liked as Le Peg just not standing firm and then going one. Uh, sorry, not Le Peg, Blue Max. If you don't stand firm, then you've got a four plus to go one, two, three, four, rush, rush, two D, right? And so he's going to one D punch him.
<laughs> Doesn't follow. He might be free next turn. One D there. Instant reroll. Into a one D. Into one D and underscore. Into a Kaz. Into a self Kaz. And now. He could just score and leave Blue Max with a two turn without any re rolls. Or he can, you know, make some dice rolls. He's got three re rolls. Nothing's too crazy. Oh my god, he's dub skulled. <laughs> he's dub skulled. <laughs> I'd be pretty much panicking over, like, you know, having to roll some dice on the last turn and not being... Yeah, I, I'm i not surprised he scored that at all. I could, I could feel the panic <laughs> through the screen. <laughs> so now all he has to do is defend this two-turn by Blue Max. Can Blue Max ruin Le Peg's tournament or not? He's got no re-rolls and two turns to do it. The peg has six seconds of time bank left. <laughs> yes, sounds like I know. I know what it feels like. My, mine was horrible. My game was absolutely horrible. Most stressful game of Blue Ball I've ever played. So. Well, not yet. Not yet. So just the self cars for Blue Max. And of course, the white didn't regen and neither did the goo. Diced again. A Blutz, wow. Wow, will the Blitz throw it away? Oh my God, he's got a perfect kick. Perfect kick for the peg. Will he spunk it away with an idiot Blitz? <laughs> Probably not. Probably not, because... Uh...
and there's absolutely nobody fast this side so that is that is it gg isn't it basically I guess there's a chance of like the wolf side switching. But... Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, rush, rush. No, so he's got to dodge as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, rush, rush. So he can get there. Probably should have blitzed this guy, eh? Probably should have blitzed this guy. And then he could have gone three, four, five, six, seven, eight, rush, rush, and be like here. Or whatever. But he can get there with a dodge. He can get into range and then get instantly pushed back. Or he can just roll insanity dice. But this sure looks over. Uphill, that is a blockless player. So, that is the game done. So there we go, we're gonna definitely have a playoff. Yatsik not eliminated. So it turns out the draw versus KFOG was good enough. He was right to settle for the draw versus KFOG because if he tried to beat him, he'd have likely lost. So. Whoa. Yeah, it works for you, KFOG, yeah. Yeah. Yep, Kfog wins the group. And Lepeg and Yatsik will have to play off. Probably on Saturday. I think they've got Saturday Sunday and they do it. <laughs> Shut up, Timmy, is what I think. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty crazy. You won your group with that record. Yeah, yeah. I I only just qualified from mine with that, and you won your group with it. <laughs> Dirty Dino.
<laughs> I drew I drew nil nil one of mine. Nil nil one nil one one, so mine's <laughs> mine's even worse. <laughs> Oh god, we could play each other in the next round, K Fog. That's a possibility. I, I actually <laughs> was, I really wanted Le Peg to win <laughs> 2 0. <laughs> so I wouldn't be in your I wouldn't be in your bracket. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, two, 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 four, one against wouldn't have been uh, good enough for it. In fact, you wouldn't have qualified, right? If you'd got ah no, because they got the you you drew versus them, so they would have had less as well if you'd gone down there. But it's kind of weird. But, uh, you'd have been in the playoff at least. Yeah, you'd have been in the playoff. Oh my, it would have been a three-way playoff. It would have literally been a three-way playoff. No, it wouldn't have. Right, right, right. Disregard. You've been the playoff. <laughs> Hello, the peg. I think there's been a lot of that. I think there's been a lot of, uh, of people's minds crashing in these games. Uh, the critical... The critical playoff games have been very tough on people, of course. Starting with the uh, instant mummy removal was pretty brutal, wasn't it? But there you go. Um, congratulations, half congratulations to the peg. Because with that 1 0 win, he is tied with Yatsik for second place. Um, K Fog goes through in, as the group champion with four touchdowns. Yatsik and Lepeg both with 3-4, 2 against, will have to have a single elimination match with overtime enabled to see who gets through to the round of 32 knockout stage. So there you go. Congrats Lepeg. Commiserations Blue Max. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.